Hi guys, 747 400 simulator again. Remember I talked I talked to you about the uh, malfunctions I can set as an instructor in the 747 simulator. So over here, let me just I'll put the aircraft to position freeze. I'll just change that so that I can have the malfunction, malfunction index. And I'm going to go to air conditioning and pressurization. Here we go. And what I'm going to set up is for this aeroplane to have a rapid depressurization. Where is it? Okay, there we go. So there's a rapid depressurization. I'll select it. And all it needs now is for me to switch it on and it will start causing the cabin to climb rapidly. So we are 37,000 feet. There we are, 37,000 feet, that's where we are, 370, Mach 0.843, and we're heading towards Guava, which is just before you get to Hong Kong. So, let's say, at this altitude, we had a problem with depressurization, so we had a rapid depressurization, which means the cabin is climbing, and we have to go on onto the oxygen uh, masks as well. So this is what happens, these are the indications that happen in the cockpit. So I'll just select it on and let's see what's happening. First of all, over here, I'll just select the ECS panel. The cabin altitude is currently 5,700 feet. What does that mean? That means even though we're at 37,000 feet, we in the aeroplane are breathing air as though we were on the ground at 5,700 feet above sea level, about the altitude of Johannesburg, Harare, Zimbabwe, those sort of altitudes. It's as if we're on the ground breathing that kind of air, so which is normal. Human body can handle that, no problem. So that's where we are, at 37,000 feet. We're actually breathing uh, the equivalent of 5,700 feet. That's the pressure in the cabin. So when I give a depressurization, that cabin altitude starts to climb. And immediately it goes above 10,000 feet. As crew, we have to go on to the oxygen. But what I want to show you is the indications we get in the flight deck. In the cabin, of course, you'd have already been given the briefing as a passenger that in the event of a sudden change in cabin pressure, oxygen masks like this will drop from the cab uh, panel above your head. If you see one, you know, pull it towards yourself and put it, cover your nose and mouth and breathe normally, blah, 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 and secure the elastic band around your head and so on. That stuff. Anyway, in the cockpit is different, of course. We also put on oxygen masks, but the full face masks that we put on. So let's have a look at the indications. So I'll just go to the instructor's panel. So I had it waiting, so I'll select it on and execute. Okay, that's the noise of the uh, air escaping, simulating the air escaping from the airplane. Let's look at the cabin altitude there. See, it was 5,700, 7,500. 8,000, at 8,500 it goes amber, there you go. That means we really, the cabin is now approaching 10,000 feet and we're left. Cabin altitude warning. Cabin altitude continues to climb. So to stop the noise, I press that button there. That stops the noise, but the cabin altitude warning remains. What does the pilot do when that happens? Normally the pilot grabs it. one of these. That's the oxygen mask, that's what it looks like. I just grabbed it from the side there. And this fits on my head like that. And that grabs onto, the harness grabs onto my head. And that's what happens. So right now the cabin, look at this, I haven't done anything. It's now 21,000 feet. So in the cockpit, once that happens, of course, other actions we would have done is we would have come up here, see the passenger oxygen, we would have done that. As soon as that warning had come on, we would have done move the switch. That would have immediately dropped the masks in the cabin and you'd have seen it dangling and you'd have put it on. That's what happens later 